I just me or more people just keep on to get sick and not just from Corona. Well on everybody, it's me, MDC, the MDC here at MDC RX and your friendly neighborhood pharmacist. And for this video, I just wanted to discuss something kind of, I don't know, a little bit concerning that I see whenever I work in the pharmacy. Before we continue though, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join the MDC family. It's a little over here, we're vibing almost every week, especially on a Friday. <laughs> and also like the video and just comment. I love reply to your comments down in there and having any cool discussions with you. So yeah, working in the pharmacy, I just realized that recently there's just this higher amount of people being diagnosed with non-communicable diseases. If you don't know what non-communicable diseases are, which I think most of you do because I asked on Instagram for you guys to tell me about any non-communicable diseases you can think of. And most of y'all gave me some pretty good answers. Well, I mean, all of you gave me pretty good answers. But if you don't know what a non-communicable disease is, it's basically a disease that you cannot transmit it or contract it from means like you know airborne or food or water or touching or coughing you cannot transmit it like that you can only get it through lifestyle habits genetics or, or what else oh or your environment i think environment also yes does have an impact on you getting non-communicable diseases and examples of these can be your hypertension your high blood sugar blood pressure high blood pressure high blood pressure or hypertension or your sugar which is a diabetes and another one asthma cancer is even an uncommunicable disease but as a pharmacist i just find it alarming how many young people coming in especially with developing these non-communicable diseases because according to this site the international federation of pharmaceutical manufacturers and associations uh, uh let's just call it ifpma NCDs or non-communicable diseases account for 63% of deaths in all countries. 63%. Come on. And they're saying that it's growing. And I can definitely see that down here in the pharmacy world. I definitely see more people coming in being diagnosed with these conditions. So you must be wondering why now? Why are more people and people even younger getting these diseases? Well, you have a lot of things happening. Honestly, especially right now in this pandemic period, there's a lot of stress and there's just a lower income happening and things raising. So you have stress as a symptom, as a, as a cause, sorry, because you have stress being a direct factor in some of these diseases. And I mentioned lower income, so that contributes to the stress but also low income meaning you can't afford certain things so you cannot afford certain healthy foods or so on because as we know the cheaper the food most times sometimes the more unhealthy it is the more processed it is the more fast and quickly made and you know bulk made it is which can in some cases mean more unhealthy also again especially in these times of the pandemic where you don't really have anywhere to go there is a higher rise in a sedentary lifestyle so as we see a lot of people gaining more weight me myself my, my, my gain a little weight and get a little extra flab from a day and you know i've been trying to work it off but yeah i can definitely know and understand some people who just have an increased sedentary lifestyle that puts them in a position to be more susceptible to these non-communicable diseases and other than just your physical health, when we talk about physical, you know, the diseases that affect the physical body, you have the diseases that affect the mental state. So the stress can go on to cause mental issues. So you have your mental um, non-communicable diseases like your depression, your anxiety, and so on. And those can actually lead to death. And those can actually lead to death because you have a lot of those mental health issues going on to cause things such as you know you unaliving yourself but yeah so this is basically just like a like a rant video because i wanted to i wanted to address it i wanted to talk about it kind of, kind of concerning because what you do find is you do have ways to prevent these you have the controllable factors and you have the non-controllable factors so your non-controllable being like your genetics sometimes your environment but then you have your controllable factor and with your controllable factor now you can you know lessen these or increase these to help prevent you contracting these non-communicable diseases or ncds 
So because of this concern I had, me as a pharmacist decided to create an e-guide for you guys. So this e-guide now basically just lists out some things that you can do to help prevent these NCDs. And in some parts we actually go through some specific illnesses and some specific changes that you can do to avoid those specific illnesses. Don't worry, it's a free, I'm not sure if I said it earlier, but it's a free e-guide. The link is down in the bio, the link is down in the description. If it's on Instagram, it ain't I buy you. But yeah, the link is on the description. Just go and tap it. You can download the free e-guide and you can read up on how to help yourself prevent these NCDs because it is a rising issue that I'm very concerned about. And share the link with anybody who you think is interested in an ebook like that. Anybody you know is kind of health conscious and wants to help prevent certain specific diseases. Cause you know, sometimes some specific ones might run in your family. I think I have, what? sugar sugar in my family heart disease around my family so i definitely try to avoid certain things so looking in the e-guide you can look at some specific ones that you want to avoid and you can read up on those and try to avoid them try to incorporate the changes in your life and yeah but yeah i'm very excited to to share this with you because it's very good information i just i might have said it i might not have said it but i did consult a nutritionist as well for the dietary changes so you guys can know that it's you know it's legit plus i'm a registered pharmacist so so yeah definitely go check it out and i think that's it for my little rant video thank you guys so much for watching if you liked it like it again comment share it around and subscribe that's if you didn't at least thank you guys so much for watching this video this week and come back next week again for a brand new video